Ambassador Zalmi Khalilzad in his re recent statements uh, is seen advising Pakistani government and uh, Pakistani Supreme Court regarding the political situation of Pakistan. There's a general perception in Pakistan that uh, his statements are uh, kind of uh, expressing the sentiments of US government. I know he's not a part of the current administration, but could you clarify this, that his statements is not the... Well, I think you just hit the nail on the head. Mr. Khalilzad is a private citizen, and any uh, social media activity or comments or tweets that you might reference, uh, those are done in his uh, private capacity. It does not represent uh, U.S. foreign policy, and he uh, does not speak for, for, for this administration. So what is your opinion about the current political chaos in Pakistan? The Interior Minister of Pakistan issued death threats to former Prime Minister Imran Khan live on a public TV. I mean, so uh, we've previously stated that any implication of violence, harassment, or intimidation has no place in politics, and as we do with our partners all around the world, we encourage all sides in Pakistan to respect the rule of law and allow uh, the people of Pakistan to democratically determine their own country's leadership pursuant uh, to their own constitutional uh, and laws. And specifically, for any reaction to the comments, you would uh, have to go to Mr. Uh, Sanullah. The, not, that's not for, for me to speak to. So one last question about the largest democracy in the world, India. Um, Indian officials disqualified leader of Congress uh, party, Mr. Rahul Gandhi, from his seat in the parliament for calling Modi for calling Modi a thief. He was also sentenced to two years in prison for the same reason. So what are your com comments on this specific uh, issue and about the freedom of speech? Respect for the rule of law and judicial independence is a cornerstone of any democracy and we're uh, watching Mr. Gandhi's case in Indian courts and uh, we engage with the government of India on our shared uh, commitment to democratic values, including of course freedom of expression. In our engagements with uh, our Indian partners, we continue to highlight the importance of democratic principles and the protection of human rights, uh, including freedom of expression uh, as a key to strengthening uh, both our democracies.